In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use ClassTools.net to create a basic arcade style game that can be used to quiz students and help reinforce different concepts. On ClassTools.net, they have a variety of templates of different types of games that you can create. I would strongly encourage you, before you make any games, to look at their samples. On the samples page, they show all their templates. So for instance, if you wanted to see a dustbin game, you could click on that, learn more about how you might use a dustbin game, even get some uh, sample lesson plan ideas, and if you scroll further down, they'll have sample games that you can look at to see what it might look like. And you can even play the game to check it out. That can be helpful before creating your own game and also will give you an idea of the, the ways in which these games might be used. But I'm going to go back to the home page and I'm going to pick a template and the templates actually are on every page of the site. They're along the right here and I'm going to go with the arcade game generator. Now even though the different games uh, are different uh, in style and type, the way to create the actual game is fairly similar regardless of what type of game you're using. With each game you have to enter questions or content that students are going to interact with and have to respond to. Most of them will ask you for a title of some kind. I'm just going to call this one Test Game. And for this particular uh, game I need to input questions and answers and it tells me that I need to separate each question from its answer with an asterisk such as this. I could type all those in or I could just use the easy way out and click on example and use all the questions that they have there as an example. If I have less than 10 I'll get a message, an error message telling me that I have to type in more questions because you need at least that much variety for this, for this to work. These questions are kind of all over the place but that's okay because this is just an example. I want to enter a password here too because if I don't Students will not only be able to see this page, which of course gives them all the answers, but they'd be able to edit it as well. I don't want them changing the questions and answers on me. So I'm going to put in a password. I'm going to make it easy on myself and just put Bob as my password. Now, I can choose which kind of, que which kind of game I want students to be sent to automatically, or I can just allow them to have free choice, in which case they would actually be able to pick from a variety of games all testing them on this content. And so I'll just leave it at free choice so you can see what that would look like. I can click play, or I can also click on this little, looks kind of like a gear, and if I wait a second, it's going to give me some embed code as well as a direct link to that particular game. And if I say OK, I'm going to hold on to that link in my clipboard and just hit play, and this is what it's going to look like. And as you can see, it takes them to the page and gives them five different choices of games to play. Each of these will test them on those ten questions I put in. So I'm going to pick just Manic Miner just so you can see what it looks like. It says answer three questions correctly, collect the key, jump down the toilet. Sounds like a lot of fun. Check it out, beginner's luck. And you can see I have to kind of move around to get the key. And the question says, who sang Jailhouse Rock? And so I need to run over and get Elvis Presley. I'm trying to get away from New York, because that's actually not the answer to the question, which is, what is 2 plus 2? This could go on for a while. And so that I can avoid completely annoying you as you watch this, I'm going to back up and get out of it. But remember, I have that link in my clipboard, so if I just toss the link up here, it'll take me back to the main page and I could pick a different type of game. So it's important that I keep a hold of that link so I can go back to my game and provide that link to my students so they can play the different games as well. And that's one way that you can create a game using classtools.net.